So I just got this ridiculously cheap used HDD from Amazon, and honestly, it's a piece of <laughs> Don't want to be a fool like me? Well, when you buy a used hard drive, make sure to check its health and speed ASAP. Trust me, you don't want to find out later that you've been sold a lemon. By doing so, you can determine a more reasonable price for your used hard drives when selling them, and it also enables you to monitor the disk status regularly to prevent data loss. So the question is, how do you check the current state of your disk? Well, we see, we touch, we knock, we listen. The good news is that modern hard drives use smart status to elevate their stability and help us figure out if they're going to fail. But what is the smart? Well, let's find out. So SMART stands for Self-Monitoring Analysis and Reporting Technology. It's a monitoring system that tracks various attributes, like read-write errors, temperature, and power cycles, to predict potential hardware failures. Hey, if you're thinking about buying a used hard drive, it's a good idea to ask the seller for the SMART report beforehand. This way, you'll know how healthy the drive is and how long it might last. Plus, if they send you a different drive, you can use the report to sort things out because Smart Logs, the drive's hardware info. Here's another ridiculously cheap SSD I got from eBay. Maybe I should just toss it in the trash. But let's check its smart status first. All right, I'll just connect it to the computer and boot up my PC. Then press the BIOS key to enter BIOS and see if the machine recognizes it. Usually, you can see all the disks connected to your computer in the boot menu. It seems the SSD is showing up just fine. So everything looks good so far. Okay, let's close it and go to the desktop and check its smart status. I know some of you are on Windows and others are on Mac OS, so I've got tutorials for both. Just skip to the part you need using the timestamp below. In Windows, you can head to Disk Management to check if the other hard drive is showing up. If yes, then here's what you need to do to check its smart status. First, if you're using Windows 10 or an earlier version, you can open up Command Prompt as an administrator and enter this command. For Windows 11 users, you'll need to search for PowerShell and same, open it as an administrator. Then you'll need to enter a slightly more complex command this time. These commands will give you the basic info about your hard drive status. If it says OK, that's great. That's all we need to know. False! You don't know sh yet. So, how do you get a detailed smart report of your disk with a few simple clicks? Well, there's this awesome tool that checks your disk's health and speed for free, and it gives you all the smart details you need. It's compatible with various models of SSDs, HDDs, USB drives, and SD cards. And if your disk has problems, it provides useful tools like bad sector detection, file system checks, and repair, making it very convenient for daily disk management. To check your hard drive's smart status, go to the Partition Manager tab, find your target drive, click on that little icon and voila a detailed disk health report will pop up now i can see the health status and temperature of any drive on my computer the power on time and count will tell me how long the drive has been in use plus there's a ton of other data like total read write size and serial number it's really comprehensive you've probably seen those green dots on the side if one turns yellow or red, it means your hard drive has a problem. Don't rush into anything just yet. If you have important files on your hard drive, make sure to back them up first. Don't start cloning the disk right away, because that could put more stress on it and make it more likely to fail, which would mean losing your data. So it's better to clone after you've backed up your files. You can check out my previous video for the cloning steps. Once you've backed up, you can try fixing it with tools I mentioned earlier. So we all know that hard drives are going to fail eventually, which is why I'm here to recommend you guys to back up your important files regularly. If you wish to test your hard drive speed, you can proceed to the discovery section and use Disk Mark. This tool will inform you about your hard drive's read and write speeds, helping you assess its current condition. So you've now learned how to check your hard drive's health and test its speed on Windows. Okay, what about Mac users then? If you are using a Mac, you can click the Apple menu and hold the Option key. You will notice that About This Mac here would turn to System Information. Now, click on it. Under Hardware, we choose Storage. And here you can see the Smart Status. If it shows a Verified, it means your SSD is healthy. If it says Failing or Failed, it means your SSD is going to fail soon. And you need to back up your data immediately. As I said in the Windows chapter, do not clone the disk unless you first backed up all the significant files, since cloning would cause more pressure on that disk. You may encounter smart info of your disk not showing up, but worry not. EaseUs also has got the Partition Manager for Mac OS. It also has broad compatibility and offers other disk management features and additional tools. Okay, so now I'm going to check my disk's health first. Select it from the list on the left. Then you'll see a smart button. Just click it. It'll show you everything you want to know, like the temperature, health, how long it's been on, how many times it's been turned on, all that stuff. See, my SSD is a bit hotter than usual, so the program showing it in red and calling it a warning. Also, if those green dots on the right go yellow or red, like I said before, you should really back up your important files ASAP. 
After that, you can check out this video on how to clone your disk on a Mac to back everything up. Plus, the speed test shows you how quickly your hard drive is working, so you can get a better idea of its health. Alright, everything seems okay, I can finally install my game. Yep, another thing to keep in mind, some used drives can have their smart data reset with special tools, so they look fine, but they're actually dying, although it's not super common, but here are a few things you can do to lower the risk. The first thing you can do is always prioritize enterprise-grade drives, like Seagate Exos or Western Digital Ultrastar when buying used drives. They're harder to fake, and their logs are tougher to tamper with. Second, check its status immediately after it arrives. You can use multiple tools like ESA's Partition Manager, Crystal Disk Info, or the manufacturer's official tool to verify the smart data. If there are any major discrepancies, that's a red flag. Also, double-check if the serial number on the drive's label matches the one in the smart info. And finally, always remember to back up your data and never rely on a single disk. Again, ESA's Partition Manager is free for checking your disk's health and speed, and it can handle most of your daily disk management needs. I definitely recommend keeping it on your computer just in case something goes wrong. And if you got any questions or disk issues you'd like to discuss, leave a comment down below. I'll try my best to answer them all.